Ideally, airports operate like a well-oiled machine. They're a choreographed stream of departures and arrivals, moving an endless supply of people and luggage. Good afternoon, passengers. This is the pre-boarding announcement for flight 372A to Kansas City. At the San Antonio International Airport, employees work hard to keep that machine fine-tuned, diligently managing check-ins, screenings, and shoppers passing time as they wait to board their flight. But here, one key ingredient to it all is Marcus Makamel, who might just have the most unexpected job around. I get here early. I usually come in about 4.35. I like to be here right when the sun's coming up. And then I'm out on the airfield most of the day. When I get here early in the morning, I can talk to the night supervisor. And they're gonna let me know what they're seeing, what the concerns they have, where they're seeing things at. And we work through that and I set traps or game cameras and try to catch what's going on. How do you explain what it is that you do for a living? Um, that's a good question. Whenever I tell people what I do, they, most of them they're like, really? That's, that's, that's not a job. Because most people come to the airport, they get their coffee, go through TSA, get on the plane. They don't, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, not just on my part, through the whole airport, for the planes to take off and land safely. I just really try to br break it down to, my job is to make the airport as unattractive to wildlife as possible. And wh what's your official title? Airport wildlife biologist. As one of only four full-time airport wildlife biologists in the entire country, Marcus's job is no doubt unique. Here at the airport, he maintains a minimalist landscape. It's all an effort to deter wildlife from calling the airport home and lower the chances of impact with an aircraft. And to be extra safe, Marcus sets traps and spends most of the days checking to see what he's caught. What types of animals do you spend most of your t days well, with? Well, it's mostly birds and, you know, birds, raccoons uh, have had some issues in the past with feral hogs and white-tailed deer. But it, it's never, I can't come in a day and think, well, oh, I saw that coming or that. Yeah, it's always something, something new. You don't know what you're walking into. What's the craziest story that you've run into animal related here at the airport? Well, we've had, had the story with the rhesus macaque, the monkey that got out of American Airlines plane. Happening now, a monkey is on the loose at the San Antonio International Airport. The crate fell off the belt loader, and when it fell off, it opened up, and he jumped out and got it around the TSA x-ray machines, and so then we were able to uh, dart him. and. Uh, he continued on his way to South Texas. And, a short delay in the airport. Yeah, just a little delay. I'm just glad we caught it and it's safe and everything's good, but it was pretty hectic here in the San Antonio airport for us today. Like passengers on a layover, the furry and feathered animals Marcus captures are just delayed on the way to their next destination. He releases them all far away from the airport in places like sanctuaries and forests where they carry on with their journey safely. We got to see you release a raccoon just up the road a yeah. little way, and he seemed happy to get yeah. out of the cage, yeah. but certainly happy to be back out. Yeah, in the... back in his native area. He was just in a bad location, uh, just moving him, helping him move along. Same thing with like the raptors and stuff that we catch. You know, most of the raptors I catch there, I don't, I don't. I don't think they're resident. They, they're mostly migrating either north or south, and depending on the time of the year, I just kind of help them along. Just help, help them move whatever direction they're going. Where did the love for animals come from? I don't know, I just, I, it's just always been a passion. Uh, my grandfather had a, had a small farm growing up, and you know, he kind of, I was really always an, into that. Now more, I was always more on the, the promoting of animals, and this is a little different, but it's not that I don't care about the animals on the airfield, they just don't need to be here. 
Like a bolt in the depths of a 737 engine, Marcus Machamel is a crucial yet often unseen component, essential to safe flying at the San Antonio International Airport. From rhesus macaques and red tail hawks to Bombardier jets and Cessna Skyhawks, he's seen it all and has a hand in every takeoff and touchdown. Do you love your work? Oh yeah. There's just a little piece here that I hopefully I have a part in and making it safer and I feel I do 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 safe to make things safer. What do you think to yourself when you're driving around in that truck all over the property? What a great job to have, <laughs> that I can have the freedom to be able to do this and drive around and actually get paid for it. It's crazy, it really, it really is. It's pretty unique and the, that I got lucky enough to get put in it. Like San Antonio's Steve Irwin. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so, yeah.